Hey guys, it's Olin Pazette. Today we're going to be talking about a winter formal, the book fair, a short film, and much more. And GPA TV starts right now. The last day for the Guahomi Book Fair is this Friday. If you want to purchase a book or sign up for a parent to donate to a classroom, today till Friday would be the best time. I, I really think you should do this. And here's a new story called Pets in Paradise by Aiden and Cristobal. With people being busy with work and responsibilities, they don't always have the time to accompany their best friend. In this case, you should bring your dog to Pets in Paradise, a place where dogs are in paradise. So my name is Molly and I'm the operations manager here at Pets in Paradise Ranch Resort. We do doggy daycare and boarding uh, where it's off leash play and the dogs get to roam around in nature and have a great time and have fun in groups. So um, we have a, a good amount of clients that will come here and uh, drop off their dogs to come for the day to play while they're at work or some will come and stay for the weekend while they're on vacation. Um, we do appointment times through res the reservation process and um, we evaluate the dog to make sure it's a good fit um, that they have a safe happy play here. Um, so I believe the business is probably about 20 years old. Um, Eloise is the owner. She started it out of her home and we've uh, now been at this property probably for about 10 years. Well, we um, are one of the few uh, facilities here that is out in nature, outdoor facility, where the dogs can roam around and play, um, chase lizards, you know, during the summer. Uh, we have kiddie pools that they can play, you know, in the water, just have a great time. The best part is just seeing all the personalities of all the different types of dogs, um, having fun. We treat them as if they were our own and uh, even the ones that may come with, with a hard time of, of getting along with other dogs or anxiety um, and seeing them come out of their shell and be able to make friends and have a good time. Dogs will be appreciated and properly cared for being a true paradise for your pet. And because of this reason, you should let your dog experience it. With camera operator Cristobal Garcia, this is Aiden Booth reporting for GPA TV. Well, that was really good. And now, Entertainment with Quad. <laughs> What's up, Gohomi? It's Quat. And Quat, Gio isn't here today due to something coming up, but he'll be back next week. Anyways, we'll, I mean, I'll be talking about the new and upcoming Star Wars Jedi game, Spotify laying off 600 employees, Splash Mountain closing in Florida and Anaheim, and National Spouses Day. Without further ado, I'll get right into it. The new Star Wars Jedi game, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, is serving as a sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Let's take a quick look at the teaser trailer. Why fight? When you can't win. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty good. I might check it out if I ever get the chance. If anyone is wondering when this game will come out, the release date is March 17, 2023. The well-known tech company Spotify announced on Monday that they will be laying off 600 of their employees, which is 6% of their workforce. This is due to the current challenges in the econ economy right now, since there will be an e economic recession soon. Today is a sad day at Disney World since Splash Mountain is shut down for good. 
but it will reopen as Tiana's Bayo adventure in late 2024. At least we'll have a similar version of Splash Mountain at Disney World in the future, but it'll never be the same. Today's National Spouses Day. <sighs> this day reminds me of Gio so much. I wish he would come back. I just miss him so much. Things will never be the same without him. Why, Gio? Why? Today would have been the perfect day for the both of us, but no. He just had to leave. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just need to go find him. I have to go find him. This has been quiet. Now back to the studio. Winter Formal has been canceled due to a number of participants not going, so there will be no Winter Formal at the Vistonian. However, if you want a refund, you should talk to Miss Perkins. I should go get a refund too. And now sports with Elizabeth. What's up, Guhomi? It's Elizabeth, back with your weekly sports. As some of you may already know, the boys' basketball team is having a senior night held on February 2nd at 6.30 p.m. located in the gym. This will be a whiteout game, so make sure to wear white to support the team. In other words, boys' varsity will go against Tri-City on Saturday 28th at 6 p.m., and on the 31st, they will go against Del Lago at 5.30 p.m. The boys' player of the week is Joshua Carbajal. Coach nominated Joshua for being a team leader with great attitude and with a GPA of 3.8 per semester. Congrats, Joshua. The baseball team is fundraising by recycling bottles, plastic, glass, or aluminum cans. Some of your teachers will have a blue recycling bin in your class just in case you have to empty bottle ready to toss. Remember, these bins are for recycling only and not for trash. The girls' basketball team will have a game tomorrow against Escondido Adventist on the 27th at 5 p.m. here in our gym. On February 1st, they will also against Del Lago at 5 p.m. The girls' player of the week is Desiree Mercado. Coach Sai nominated her for being a great team player and getting the team involved. Congrats, Desi. Lastly, for boys soccer, yesterday they went against St. Joseph Academy at 5 p.m., and on February 1st, they will go against Coastal at 3 p.m. Well, that's all for this week, Wahomey. It's been Elizabeth, now back to the studio. North Country Lifeline Workshop, this Thursday tonight at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. The English presentation will be in room 2131, and the Spanish presentation will be in room 2132. Please join Project Life from North County Lifeline to learn what human trafficking is, what it looks like, and risk factors and indicators. Project Life also discusses services they offer and available resources. If you have anything that you would like for GPA TV to present or broadcast, please email Mr. Amaya at amayada.guahomi.net. That's all for this week's news, Guahomi. This has been Olin Pazette, signing out. <laughs>